Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, we'll be talking about ransomware, particularly WannaCry ransomware that is affecting users from all over the world. And because I've seen a lot of videos explaining what it is and how it works, but not many people are telling how to prevent it or how you can stop it from entering your device or damaging your data. So in this video, I'll try to explain everything about WannaCry ransomware. I'll tell what it is and what you can do to prevent it from entering your computer and damaging all your data. So I decided to make a video on ransomware because I personally know some people who have been affected by WannaCry and they have lost all the data that they had. So you guys might be wondering what is ransomware. Now, ransomware is just kind of like a malware or a virus or a trojan. You can make out what it is just by the name. Ransom means asking for money for doing something that is illegal and where is just kind of a suffix for all these programs. So ransomware is kind of a malware program that asks for money for doing something illegal. And one ransomware that's causing mass disrupt in India and all around the world is WannaCry. WannaCry is a Windows exploit basically and it makes changes to the system that you have and encrypts all the data that you have on your device. And what encryption means is it will convert all the data that you have into a certain code and it will require a password to use all that. And after it encrypts all the data, the password is only known by the user that is on the other side and that is the hacker or the hacking organization. So to get the password and get all your data back, you'll have to send money to the hacker himself and he might send you the password. And all the process of transferring all this money and everything works on Bitcoin so that nobody knows who the hacker actually is. So now you guys have a basic idea of what WannaCry is and how it is affecting all the devices in the world. Before I go ahead and tell you guys how you can prevent it from happening to your devices, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button because I keep making videos like this. So first of all, if you have an Android phone, you don't need to worry much about this because this ransomware is mostly for Windows devices. And one security measure that you can take on your Android device is that if you have any application that is not from a trusted source and is not present on the Play Store and you're giving it root access, you should stop doing that and remove this application from your mobile right now. But if the application is trusted or it is on the Play Store, then there is a very small chance that it can affect you. The security breach is also not present on Linux devices or iOS devices, so you don't need to worry about that as well. But for Windows devices, and especially for people running older versions of Windows, like Windows XP or Windows Vista, they should be really careful about this. And even for people that are running newer versions of Windows, there's a decent chance that you can be affected. So right now, when I'm making this video, there's no way to fix ransomware. You can only prevent it from happening to your device. But if it has already happened to your device and it is asking for a decryptor key, you can't do much about it. So that's why I'm saying you take all these preventive measures and prevent this from happening to your device. The first thing that I will advise all of you guys must do is go and download the security patch that Microsoft has officially released for fixing this issue. And it was because of an exploit in the Windows SMB server. So make sure you go ahead and download it from the link in the description box below and install it specifically for the machine that you're using. If so, if you're using XP, then select XP from the list and download the file. If you have turned on automatic updates on your computer, then it is likely that it would have been automatically installed because you can see that the priority of this update is very critical and it says it on the Microsoft website as well. The next thing that you want to make sure is that if you're using any kind of mail client, you want to make sure that the download is not set to automatic. And if you're using some online mail client like Gmail, then don't download anything that is sent from some user that you don't know about. And the fourth step would be to not download any software that is not trusted from the internet. So if you're downloading any cracked software that is not trusted or some other softwares that are not made by trusted developers, then there is a chance that the ransomware is hooked up to that file. So make sure to avoid doing that as well. And the last thing is a preventive measure uh, and it is that you can back up all your files in a separate drive or you can back up on the cloud so that even if your data gets encrypted by some hacker, then you can format your computer and you won't lose anything. So that was kind of it for this video guys. If you like this video, make sure you press on the thumbs up button and you can also subscribe to this channel for more content like this.